Hey folks, welcome back to the bench. Well, a new gadget came in the mail here a couple days ago. I've already played with it, um, but I figured I'd show you guys because I'm doing a little bit of work with it. It really has no... I didn't order it for any set purpose, but uh, I just thought it was kind of neat. What it is, is this thing. Uh, now it is a 100 watt LED. Now when I say 100 watt, I don't mean equivalent to a 100 watt light bulb. I mean it actually pulls 100 watts of power. So these LEDs, you can get them on eBay pretty cheap. They're about 10 bucks. But they need about 35 volts at over 3 amps to power them. So they really suck the juice back and also they generate a lot of heat. So and that's what I'm going to address today. Now what I'm using to power it is a 12 volt source and I got this on Amazon. It's just a 12 volt to 30 variable voltage boost converter and it's good for like three and a half or five amps, something like that. Got the wires on there. I've already tried it. Works fine. And I've powered it both with my 12 volt power supply, but I thing is you can also power it from a, a three cell lipo pack. This is a 5,000 milliamp hour, five amp hour. Because a 12 volt, or a three cell lipo pack will actually put out close, usually a little over 12 volts. So it uh, works just fine. Well, I'm thinking of it, I'm gonna charge it up here just to make sure it's got plenty of juice. So I've used it a little bit. Get the charge going on it while I'm yapping and working. But my plan, like I say, these things generate a lot of heat so they can't be uh, left on for very long on their own because they get hot. So my plan is to mount it on this. Now this is a heat sink I scavenged from an old computer. Left the fan on and this should 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 be a 12 volt fan. I'll make sure and double check that. So that's nice because when I'm powering this with 12 volts, I can also power the fan with 12 volts to keep things running cool. Now, to mount the heat, mount uh, the LED to the heat sink. I don't know if you can see the marks on there. I've already marked it. I'm going to drill four holes, tap them, put some heat sink compound, and then just fire this thing directly on. So let me drill the holes, tap them, and mount them, and then I'll light this thing up and uh, see if I can knock out the sensor on my camera. Alright folks, I got the uh, LED mounted. I haven't bothered with the fan yet. I guess maybe I could do that really quick. Let's see here. Uh, I should be able to just push these pins out. There's three wires, but I only need two because one of them is an RPM sense wire. Should be the red and the black. So let's just see if these, if this fan spins. I'm not going to leave it on that long for the purpose of the video. I'm just uh, want to make sure this fan works as well. Now I'm going to unhook the LED first. Okay, let's see. I don't know. You won't be able to necessarily see it on video if it's spinning or not, but you can probably hear it. So well, that's working good. Now, oop! Oh, you saw a flash there. Get an idea of how bright this sucker is. Now, like I said, I don't know if my camera will uh, like it. So who knows? She may go black. So uh, watch your eyes folks, here she goes. I'm going to turn this light off. Actually might be better to leave it on. And the moment of truth, ready to see some uh, blinded by the light? There you go. Man, that thing is bright. I don't think the camera does it justice, but it's uh, insanely bright. If I turn this off, you can probably see it a little bit better. I can't look at it because it's too hard on the eyes, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Maybe I'll make the world's brightest flashlight or something, a portable one, but uh, 
I thought it was pretty cool and that's why I ordered one. So I'm going to have to do some more work, make sure I insulate under here so that these wires don't short out and uh, so on. But uh, it's a pretty nifty little gadget. So uh, I don't know, like I say, what I'm going to do with it, but I'm sure I'll have some videos in the future of it. Until then, take care and talk to you later.